Hot take. Being awkward makes zero sense. If you happen to be an awkward person, well, let me tell you, your life is a lie. But fear not, if you really are super duper orkies and anxious, then Roy is here to help you become the next James Bond. Firstly, awkwardness as a whole is understood incorrectly by 99% of people. You've heard the saying, everyone is different, right? Well, the same goes for being cringe. We all perceive what is awkward differently based on our cultural background and our personal and group interests. For example, imagine you're traveling in Africa and you stumble upon a nomadic tribe. In their culture, it is customary to offer guests food, the best cut of meat. So they offer you a pair of goat testicles. But obviously you refuse. Yuck, you think. Uh-oh, awkward. Now they are chasing you with spears and bows and you are doomed. The reason I use such a physical situation is... A study conducted in 2015 found that social pain and physical pain share the same paths in your brain, meaning that those feelings of anxiety and awkwardness in situations actually hurt the same way as getting shot by an arrow in the knee by that tribe that's still chasing you. Just eat the goat balls next time. The usual argument I hear from people is, when I try to be less awkward, I just become more anxious and overall I feel more cringe. Well, when your attention is in your own head, you will be awkward. But when your attention is not in your own head, you will be relaxed. Dr. K analyzed it very, very easily. Next time you go for a walk, I want you to think deeply about how to walk. Okay, left foot up, knee up, left foot down, right up, knee up, and soon enough, you will look like a baby giraffe that just came out of mummy's tummy, stumbling around like a fool. Getting awkward is a trap. By being in touch with your immediate surroundings and listening to people, or in general externalizing your awareness, you will immediately become fixated on your surroundings rather than how awkward you are. A great example is when you play video games. You are fixated on the game and aren't thinking, oh, well, if I hold the push to talk button too long, or if I say something weird, then that's really awkward. That sounds f***ing ridiculous, right? But that is the reality of awkwardness. It is only real if you let it be real. Another great way to understand how to not be awkward is comfort or body language. Look at this guy, Don Draper. Notice how in all of these photos, he spreads himself out comfortably in every environment he is in. There are two things to take from this. Firstly, when people see you sitting down comfortably or being more open with your feet shoulder width apart and good posture, then they will immediately become comfortable around you. And so you subconsciously feel more comfortable around them. I will give you two great ways to remember to be aware of your surroundings and how to be comfortable in them now. One, when dogs lay on their backs and have their legs up and belly open, it is a clear sign of submission or saying, bark, 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 bark. But when they are engaged, when their body is tense, like they're about to spring into action, then they're ready for a fight. You don't wanna look like this when going on a date or having a business meeting. And obviously you may not be a dog or a fairy, but the same body language is perceived by our subconscious mind. Crossing your arms, having your legs pointed in a different direction, tensing your fists, these are psychological non-verbal signs that you are either aggressive, not engaged, or even lying. And we don't want that. Two, in sumo wrestling, at the start of a bout, when the rikishi or sumo wrestler starts the match, they do so by clapping their hands, slapping their stomachs, turning their palms to their opponents, and spreading out wide. Looks kinda sus, but the tradition behind it is called chirikuzu? And it is done to show that the rikishi is not armed with any weapons prior to the bout. Again, a sign of trust and sportsmanship. When you start realizing that your body language can send nonverbal cues to people and adjust, then you will see an immediate change where more and more people out in the world will approach you for small talk and you will obviously feel way less awkward. This also goes for eye contact. Too much eye contact and you're seen as creepy, not good. Too little and you seem weird. A little trick I found is with James Bond. When you watch Daniel Craig, he never breaks eye contact first. And although you may not have beautiful baby blues like him, it's generally a good rule to follow if you wanna be seen as attractive or confident. So you need to be aware of your surroundings, you need to walk freely in your environment, and you need to engage with people by having good eye contact. Lastly, talking. I know sometimes we talk to a pretty girl and our mouth just closes up and you just... My name is Jeff. Well, here's how not to do this. When focusing on another person about how pretty they look, about their scent, about how big their bazoingas are, we again internalize our brain to think these things. And all we've been talking about is externalizing. So I get it, Big Booba is sitting right in front of you. But the more important thing in front of you is a human being, a person, someone with thoughts and feelings. 
Instead of paying attention to the physical characteristics, pay attention to her words. When she talks about her dog Princess, ask more about Princess. The golden rule is, don't try to impress her, just be yourself and have a normal conversation. Later studies have shown that humans have been speaking for 70,000 years. Surely by now your brain would know how to have a conversation. So again, when she talks to you, ask questions. And when she asks you a question, don't fumble by internalizing your answer to make it sound super cool, just talk. Most conversations that are deemed as enjoyable share a common topic. Usually, when you speak to someone, you will both be engaged around something. It could be work, education, politics, pop culture. Now ask yourself, when your friends ask you a question about work or a video game, do you rush into your hard drive in your brain and select the answer? No, you just answer. You already know how you feel, and it should be the same way with any other conversation with anyone else. So yeah, my argument stands. Being awkward just makes zero sense. As long as you understand that being awkward is about thinking that you are awkward. As soon as you realize this, that awkwardness will run away like you had to when you refused to eat the goat scrotum. And in life, if there is something to learn, it is that the mentality of being a loser will ultimately make you a loser. Anyway, now that you're all caught up on how to be a slick gentleman like James Bond, I hope you go out there and live your life to the fullest, dude. And make sure you click subscribe and like the video. Hey, dude, dude, put the gun down, bro!